Hey guys, it's your boy we're back with more mall feature fit content and this video took so much time. I'm really sorry this is late but Luna Snow versus Level 80 Black Widow versus uh, Kamala Khan Tier 3 is here. Now, there is a catch about this video though. All these three characters that I'm going to show you are from different accounts but it's going to be totally reasonable. I'll show you everything. I'll tell you everything and everything. So, uh, we are Level 80 Black Widow at, at the moment. Uh, with all the stats, you can see the bonus blessings for a 5 maybe, uh, critical damage, all skills level 6, tap enhancement rank 5, power of angry hulk, stage 12, we have the 4 shard effect, it does help out with the all attack but even just if you dodge, so it does sort of help out. Uh, we have the rage and we have these uniform options. For the cards, we have 88% physical attack on the cards with 25% peers. Not a crazy physical attack, plus we also have the proc, so that's how it goes. Now, for Luna Snow, I'm, I actually used my own account, uh, which, my well, I finally gave her back. And the new uniform actually is better, okay? It is better than the older uniform. You can check out the Odin's Blessings, 8 or 9 or something. I have them. Uh, movement speed, uh, I got all of them rolled out. All skills are level 6, type enhancement, we have rank 5. We have the power of angel stage 12. We have the 3-star artifact, justice. That's all I have. CDP of rage and we have a rare uniform with basically dodge. <laughs> okay, so new uniform is better than the old Luna uniform. Okay, it scores more in Alliance Battle Legend. I tried it, about 500k to 800k increase. I have 120% energy attack on the cards and that's how Luna Snow looks like. Now for Kamala Khan, she probably has the best build. So this is how the build looks like for her. Uh, she is the, I would say, the strongest, I would say, among all of these. And you will see in Alliance Battle Legend as well. We have uh, the stats looks like this. For the Odin's Blessings, we have uh, one only. So basically, no Odin's Blessings. Yeah, you can say like one Odin's Blessing, double physical attack. That's how it goes. Critical damage rolled for the last gear. All skills are level six. We have the type enhancement uh, as well. By the way, she has fracture on the tier three skill as well as on the fifth skill. On the 5th skill, it's at the very end. So you have to use the 5th skill very early to cancel the roar or you might actually miss that. Then we have what happened as max level, power angle stage 12, no artifact, CDP of rage and we have a mythic uniform with these uniform options. Although for the cards, we actually have a whopping... I think I'm not sure how much we have. So we have about 127% physical attack on the cards. That is a lot more, but you will understand why I, uh, like the un the comparison will be totally uh, fair. Don't worry about that. First of all, starting the run with the tier uh, level 80 Black Widow actually. We're gonna play her exactly the same as we played tier 4 Black Widow. The only thing different is that we will be canceling with Yelena in the team. And yes, whatever team you use, Yelena cancel is going to be the best for you. The reason is very simple or maybe you can use arrow as well. Uh, Kamala Khan I think is the worst if you're just using her for cancels because the uh, what is that I forgot uh, the fracture applies at the very end of uh, of that fifth skill so you have to wait a lot right which you don't really want to do that you have to swap back to your main character. So that's actually bad. Arrow, I'm not sure where applies, but I find that Yelena is the easiest and I would say the best in my opinion. You just go five cancel three, super easy. Uh, sometimes you might need and you will actually need level 70 Yelena for that, by the way. Level 60, he just dodges too much. Surter has dodge and the level 60s are gonna have a really hard time canceling the roars or doing anything on Zerter. That's how it actually goes. Apart from that, everything works great and uh, Yelena cancel works awesome. There's one more thing about Alliance Battle Legend. When you swap characters and then you cancel that roar, the, re the timer resets so it's very easy to go 5 cancel 3 and switch back to your main character. That's why Yelena does so much better compared to other characters. Now, I'm running around a bit. You can see I'm not using the tier 3 skill with 3 seconds left on the 5th skill. As I told you in the tier 4. Well, the only reason is that my procs. Look at that. Uh, it's early here and there. It's going here and there. So I don't want the proc to activate uh, any more early than that. It sometimes just happens. I just go with that. Because I had to get one more rotation in before that. And the beautiful part is that I'm going to use 5, 3, 4 once again. This is just to charge up the tier 3 skill on neck rotation when you use. Now there is one issue that actually happened. So I think I got hit uh, from the mobs and so my Black Widow actually struck. 
for Magellana, which was the worst case scenario. So it does happen sometimes. And it actually happens even if you use Kamala Khan. I've seen that. So it, it can definitely go sideways if you want to. This is not like the absolute best run, but I'm just showing you because it was a good run. And it's gonna freaking reset before I post this video. So I want to post this video at least an hour before reset. That's why I'm just doing it. So let's take a look at that. We have 3 million. Uh, sorry, 3 million. We have uh, 30 seconds left. Of course, we just hit 3 million, which is not bad for a level 80 Black Widow. I need to collect them. And collecting these uh, purple walls has been the worst thing, actually. Like, you have to cancel your skills. You have to do this and that. So I don't like this, the fact that it actually happens. So that is how it rolls out. Anyways, we have one more rotation to go. We're gonna go tier 3 cancel, 5 cancel, 4 cancel, 3. Three, cans, uh, 3 seconds remaining and we are still able to hit over 3.5 million. Definitely, if she had not struck, I'm guessing 3.6 million definitely was there and it was not there. Now, let's move on to the uh, Luna Snow. How do you like the slides? <laughs> I like the slides actually. Luna Snow on my account, this is how we're gonna go. We will be cancelling again with Yelena. This uniform is the best. The rotation, if you're looking forward, if you're using Luna Snow, is gonna be 4 5. 213 and then freaking spam. Okay, uh, there is no proper rotation. I made a mistake here. I could have just gone tier 3 cancel third skill. That might have just done more damage, but it's all right. Like, sometimes it happens. You can't always get the best run, you know, all the time. So, that, that actually how it rolls out. Anyways, I'm gonna use uh, some extra skills for Luna Snow. So, because I want the tier 3 skill on as well, I switch. 5 cancel 3, cancel, switch back to Luna and go into this thing again. I did use the fifth skill just to clear out the mobs so that we can get some extra damage on the Surter. You can do these things sometimes and I'm not sure why, but this uniform does more damage to the mobs compared to the older uniform. I have no idea why. And this uniform is actually rare. I've tried the old uniform on stream last night and I was barely able to get 3, 3.1 million. This run, this uh, uniform that I'm using, I'm already at freaking 1.2 million at one minute mark. We are easily gonna hit over 3 million with this with this uniform. So I'm not sure why that is or something, but this just works so well. Maybe just spam and it just needs more skills basically, you know. With the old uniform, you have to sacrifice a few skills. You can't really spam the second skill as you're doing right now. Maybe the extra second, uh, second skill that we're doing every single time is making the big difference in that. It is possible, definitely, but I have no idea why. Anyways, we are at 2.2 million with the, the halfway marker to hit now. Uh, 2.3 million, which is nice. And I gotta collect. Collect these balls, guys, if you can. Just find like one second extra in, in the run. And you should be able to get some extra damage out of it. It does give you some extra score. It is very important. Just like, uh, like I'm happy. Honestly, Alliance Battle Legend at least had made... Alliance battle much more fun now. Like it was already amazing. It was always insane. But now everybody is freaking high for Alliance battle, right? And we get extra rewards, so everybody wants to play as well, which is the best part. I'm gonna swap to Yelena. Five cancel three, easily cancel, switch back, tier three cancel, five two, and then into the third skill. I should have saved the fourth skill if I wanted from that, but that's how it goes. This was my first run on my Luna with the on my account. So that's how it rolls out. It can definitely be better. All the runs in this run, uh, in this video that I'm showing you can definitely be better. But yeah, it is... Luna, I would say, is the easiest to play. And, uh, you know, you don't really have to worry about the procs at all as well. Sometimes you do, but... Uh, Kamala Khan just can be really bad with the procs, while Black Widow can be very tricky because her rotation and everything is very tight. So you have to pay crazy attention to everything around you. You can actually also lose points because you get hit while using Black Widow. That's a minus point of Black Widow because she has partial iframes. And Surter can hit through your through those partial gaps that you have and you lose points basically. So that's how it goes. We have already broke 3.3 uh, million. We have 3.4 and we have uh, 5 cancel 4. Let's go to cancel 3. And we will be able to make uh, 3 point almost, yeah, 3.5 million. So... Luna with 120% energy attack did 3.5. Black Widow level 80 with 88% did 3.5. So she's definitely better. Black Widow level 80 is better than Luna Snow. Now, this run, I just wanted to show you guys this. 
Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> Kamala Khan. She is incredible in Lions Battle Legend. Is the best. Spoiler alert. Is the best if you don't have tier 4 Black Widow. Okay. And she is incredible. Super easy to play. The only bad thing about this I would say is. Yeah. Her procs. I hope you like. This, this run was great. But I just don't like when actually, you know, when you get to the guy. Anyways, we're gonna go 3 cancel, 4, 5. Tier 3 skill, I'm just trying to do it. Tier 3 skill, Fracture is very easy to get. So you will be able to uh, cancel the rowers very easily. The 5th skill is where you can actually have issues sometimes. But that's alright. You can also take damage. She also has sort of like the Black Widow issue. You can take damage. And it does sort of like happens like that. If you get uh, like slight late proc on the tier 3 skill rotation, you of course do more damage because you can get the last hit of the tier 3 skill within the proc or something. So it does help you out. Like, But she's doing pretty awesome. Uh, we have 2 million uh, around here. Of course, her build, uh, her build is a lot better compared to the other character that I just showed you. She has like freaking like, what, uh, I don't know, 130% physical attack on the cards, which is insane. Uh, almost one, uh, 128 actually. So it's not like humongously big, but you will see the difference. And even if I cut cut it down to maybe like 100% physical attack, she's still gonna score a lot. It's halfway mark. We're already at 3.3 million. She already beat both of them with this build. And now you tell me. It's like what? Uh, if you compare it to Black Widow... We have right now about like 40% uh, of the uh, of uh, difference in terms of uh, uh, physical attack, right? And you might think, okay, she is she has a lot more better build, so that's why she's scoring more. That's not the case. The thing is that you will see the score in the end, even if I freaking deduct that by a million, she still beats both of them, right? And Kamala Khan is the best among these three characters if you have a level 80 widow and she's very very good 4.4 million uh almost let's go the only thing that i don't like is that the tier 3 skill sometimes gets stuck and you can't really do this so that's how it goes we have 4.5 million already let's wait for this we got the 150 percent boost and now see the damage now this is the bad part like you can you have to of course run around if you don't want to get hit and you have to also keep your procs. I, I don't like running around when you have this 150% damage boost on. But 5.3 million. That's a freaking tier 3 Kamala Khan. Come on. This is insane. And you will see now. I lost some damage. Right? I lost some points right there. So that definitely can happen. And we just got, well, almost 5.4 million. So even if I remove this. Like, to make it like 90%, 100% physical attack on the cards, she's still gonna score easily over 4 million. So my ranking for the speed human female meta for the Alliance Battle Legend goes Tier 4 Black Widow, Kamala Khan Tier 3, Level 80 Black Widow, and then Luna Snow. That is the final ranking for the meta for this day. This is how it goes. Yes, Level 80 Black Widow is stronger than Luna Snow. And that is the truth, sad truth. But yeah, Luna is okay if you don't have levelity Black Widow. But that's how it goes. Let me know what you think about the video. Let me know what you think about the speed human female. Crazy day, Alliance Battle Legend. Awesome. I hope they can fix the Alliance Battle Extreme bug soon as well. And as always, if you do, do, do enjoy the content, I hope to see you again. Take care. I'll see you all in the next one.